Okay, we're going to integrate WordPress into this website design. This is the 2011 version. Uh, WordPress has changed some things and they're now using 2010 as their default theme instead of the old default theme. We've had some requests to update our video. So, this is it. This is the website we're going to use. This is what it looks like now. And this is the blog template we've set up. This is in Joomla. So we just set up a test page where we can show where the content and the sidebar will go when we integrate this into WordPress. So I suggest you do this to make it easier on yourself. Set up a little template. And then what we're going to do is basically copy the code from this page. So you're going to want to view the source. But first we're going to actually go into our contents inside WordPress and download the, 20, the 2010 theme to our desktop. So we're viewing the source of our page, control C to copy it. Go into Dreamweaver or whatever program you like to use to modify code and create a new HTML page and paste the code in there. Again, this is the blog template we set up in Joomla. So we've now pasted it in here. What we want to do is go ahead and put the full URL path for all of the images, scripts, and plugins, anything else you've got. So in our case, we're just going to replace all the F href tags with the full path, and all the SRCs are going to have the full path, as you can see. Once that's done, we're going to go into our 2010 theme we downloaded to our desktop. We're going to take three files in here, header.php, index.php and footer.php with this we can build the framework of our WordPress installation so the first thing we've got to do is find where the header ends and the body begins on our template so this is going to be different for every site um, all I can tell you is if you view it visually, you'll have a good reference as to where the header ends. Go into the code, make sure you copy the entire header all the way up to the top of the code. Control C. Go into header.php and paste it in. Now you're not going to need all of the code since this is a blog and not your main site, so we're going to remove a couple of the scripts that we're not using on the blog to make it a little bit more lightweight. So you want to go back down to the original code and we're going to copy some of the uh, PHP here from the original code, just control X or control C and then come back up and paste it over the title. This way you've got the WordPress dynamic title tag in there. Um, we don't need uh, the meta tags because we're going to use plugins for those. We can grab a couple more snippets from the original code, scroll down, control C to copy or control X, and then paste them back in the header. And one last line that we're going to take here. Control X or Control C, 
you can come pack and paste that anywhere above the closing head tag. Okay, that's really all we need. So we're going to go back down um, and we're going to get rid of all of the old code that's left over. So this is where we pasted everything below what we pasted in. We can just junk. Just cut it out. Completely get rid of it. Save the header.php and we can move on to the index.php. We're going to go back to our template. This is what we originally copied for the head. We're going to pick up right where that left off. This is now the body. And we're going to find where the footer starts. Oh, it looks like it's right about here. We'll go ahead and control C to copy all of this. This is the body. That was the header. Now we're into the body. And below is the footer. So we're going to copy the body. Go into the index.php to the very top, right under the header, PHP call, which we're going to need to make sure that stays intact on all of our files. So leave that intact, go right below it, and paste. Now this is the uh, WordPress loop. It's new to the 2010 theme. So you're going to take all of that code, copy it or cut it out, and go back in and see where we put our template content. So in this case, we actually put, uh, you can see blog content here. That was our placeholder. So we're going to paste our WordPress code right over the top of that. And then we're going to find the sidebar. Take the sidebar code and scroll up to where we had the sidebar in our template. In this case, we had an iframe contact form in the sidebar. So we, once we find that, we know we're on the sidebar. Here we go. Paste it in there. Wrap it in div tags just in case. You might want to style it. You might need to come back and add some styling to the div for the sidebar. Just in case. And there you go. We're going to leave the call for the footer. And we're done with the index file. We can save it. Now we can move on to footer.php. This one's very simple. Go back to our template, copy the rest of the code, control C, go back into the footer.php file. Directly after the PHP head call, we're going to paste in the footer code. And really, all we need is uh, one bit of code here, which is the uh, WordPress footer hook. Place that anywhere above your body tag, ending body tag, and you can completely get rid of the rest of the code. Just delete everything else, and we're done. We can save that file. Last thing I want to point out is the style.css. Even though we're not really using the actual style sheet, this controls the name of the template. So we want to rename it, and this is going to help when you update WordPress so that your entire template doesn't get overwritten. If we make it unique, then when you do an update in WordPress, it won't be overwritten. So we're going to rename the, 20, the existing 2010 folder to something. In this case, we'll just do underscore old. And now we're going to pull the 2010 theme from our desktop onto the server, and we're going to rename it to our new template that we just changed in the style.css. You can go ahead and put the old 2010 theme back to 2010. And now we just need to log in to our WordPress. You can see that we have our new theme here activated. Now we've got our custom WordPress theme. We go to the front end of our site wherever you've actually got WordPress installed. In this case, we did it in the blog subfolder. 
refresh it and you'll see that everything is good. We've got some bullet points in the sidebar. So we're going to come into the sidebar through the admin and make sure that we put that there is going to be no styling on any of the lists. This will prevent the bullet points that you have by default in the WordPress sidebar from showing up. So we're going to add it to all the UL and the LI tags. Update it. And there we go. We have a pretty good looking WordPress blog that's been integrated with our existing website. Now, if you click on a post, you're going to see that the inner pages are not fully integrated yet. So what we need to do is make sure that we go back and modify all of the other files in the 2010 theme so that they match this theme. It's very simple to do. We go back to our index.php. We're going to copy everything under the initial PHP call. And then we're going to go into our first file, which is the 404, paste everything in there from the index.php. And we're going to take this script that was in the existing 404.php. Get rid of that last PHP reference. And then you can come up and just replace it over the PHP call that we had in the index.php. Now I've got a custom 404, point, 404 page. We can go into the next file, archive, repeat the same process, go into the index.php, copy everything below the initial PHP call, paste it into our new file. We're going to get all of this code. We're going to cut it out of there, get rid of the rest. And then we're going to go back up and paste it over the PHP codes that we've already got. Bam. Save that. You're going to repeat this process over and over again for all of the files on the 2010 theme. Not all of them, just the important ones. These are the ones that you want to make sure that you do modify. There you go. That's all of the files. So what you want to do is upload them to the server and overwrite your existing files in your new theme. If we refresh the page, we're going to see that now we've got a fully integrated WordPress blog. Congratulations. You just integrated a WordPress blog into your existing website in under 14 minutes. Go ahead and leave a comment if you need any help and we'll get back to you and help you as best as possible.